zaman kansu amma kuma ga ka babban masaraki ka halaci wannan talo a wannan sai ne kalo wannan talo ai babban masayi da 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 kawo da shine cewa ina cikin wato masu cewa kawo da musamman a cikin special advocates akan wannan tsari na musulmin duniya na kawo shi gaba mai dawoma a cikin kasashen duniya wato SDGs to me ake ma nufi da su wadannan dawowamun muradin na tsallake duniya dai ta take cire abu guda biyu na farko dai a samu ci daban kasa ta fuskar ta cannin arzikin kasa da zama jikewa da siyasa wato al'o masu fai cikin abubuwan suka dabe su na talauci da rashin ilimi da rashin lafiya da rashin ruwa mai mai kyau da kuma wato hadarin rasuwa ta da canje canje yanayi sanan da biyu ya zama ci gaban nan ya zama an yi shi ba tare da an aibanta ko an lahanta ko an cutar da wadanda za su yi baya ba misali akwai ya da ji ko ki da ji ko ki da za su kuma duniya nan a cikin ta za su za su zauna bai kamata a yi amfani da ruwan duniya ba ne ba ko a yi amfani da duk a lokacin kasa ba ko a karkashe musu kayan ki ba kuma bar mana akai muka samu da ka bada ilimin sustainable development shine na farko a samu wannan ci gaba kuma a yi shi yadda wadanda za su yi baya su wato mafuskanta su ba tare da ci to sai dai a matsayin ka wanda kake ba da shawara akan wannan harkokin ci gaba mene ne ko kuma ta ina kake da za a ci kallon wannan matsalar shi ci gaba a kasashen mun afaka acha ta cikin abubuwa suna da yawa da talauci dai ga mai da ka sani ya fi wa akan koina kasar mutum Nigeria da rawacin Nigeria akwai talauci da kuma shi talauci nan yana da wato fuskoki daban-daban dukkan su ne talauci akwai harkar rashin abinci mai inganta akwai akwai harkar rashin lafiya ko kiwon lafiya inganta ce akwai rashin ilimi inganta ce akwai rashin mahalli wanda yake amintacce hatar ruwan sha samun ruwan sha da sabta wato akwai akwai matsala akwai cakurawa ga mata da yara yara kana da wannan cikin illa ta rushe ta fiwa akan su to ni abin da yake gani shine idan akan jira suka ci matsalolin nan gabaki daya wata illa babu arzikin da za a fuskance su gabaki daya ya kamata a fuskanci wadanda ake gani za su fita sidi kuma idan an yi maganin su za su magance sawa shi yasa misali ne ke ba da shawara don nan a rayuwa ya kai ilimin mata ilimi ba kawai a sasu su kore su sabi kore ci ba a ilmancin da su kuma a koya musu sana'a yawancin mutum a kawo dukkan kara yana da mace da yana mace da mace ko kuma ce ko idan ita matan nan ce na da abin da za ce to yana da ita mace cikin mutum idan ita matan nan ta yi karatu to ya ita za su yi karatu idan matan nan ta yi karatu ta san abincin mutum da ke da ba yaya ta idan matan nan ta yi karatu yana aiki ta san muhimmancin ce tsarin iyali yadda za ta ba yaya ta tarbiya mai kyau su zama sun yi amfani da al'umma to ba wai wannan shine kadai matsalar da ake fuskanta amma idan aka fuskance ta ita wannan matsala to sai na ga kamar ta fita sidi akan sauran wannan fuskanta to daga nan kuma sai a fara fuskantar kai dai da dai har a samun magana su to kamar yadda ka tafo batun ka samu wani ba shi da abin da zai ci ma amma ya tare mata kamar da ta ma kuma kowa ya san a wani lokaci ka yi kurin wannan gangamin yadda za a kiyaye irin wadannan abu ina ka kwana cikin wannan shela da kai ai wani doka ma kuma dokar ba cewa aka yi sa a hada ba abin da aka yi an tako abin da malamai suka fada cikin farko cewa na farko dukkan mutumin da ya auri mace kuma ya fi yaya shari'a ta daura masa nauyin kula da su saboda idan ba za ka iya bai kamata mata aure ba ko mata da yake na biyu idan za ka auri mata ta biyu akwai tsarruka na adalci wanda a cikin su ma kamar yadda wasu malamai suka yi bayani ba za ka tara su a waje daya kamar a kashe faro da ko dakin kwana da ko kitchen da ba sai dai idan su sun yadda dukkan su zan zauna to wa'annan tsare tsare da ake su da su taimaka wajen rage wannan ita kuma taurawa mahaifin nauyin ɗansa 
cewa idan yaro an gashi akan ciciye na dan majici ya mu bai nufi ba amma mahaifin sai da Allah ya rawo noyin sa ya nufi kuma kai shi da wani kuma wani sa cikin doko kuma doko na gaskiya an gama amma wasu abuwa suka sa har yanzu ba a kai ta wajen gwamnati da za a je a kai ta wajen majalisa ba wani da wani sun kauce da mu kai kuma an gama doka ce cikin cin kafin azumi aka gama da doka malamai sun gama a yake su to a wannan kokari da majalisar dinkin duniya take na maganci matsaloli na rashin ci gaba a kasashe masu tasowa ta wannan bangare ne kake ganin gwamnatocin mu za su iya takarwa ita na farko ne abinda nake ganin shugabanni gaba ki daya ba ne gwamnatoci ba hagu sarakuna da dukkan mulkin shugabanci a Africa ya kamata ya san cewa wadannan abubuwa ba wai abubuwa bane da ya kamata ba a ce majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce a gaban dan a gaskiya su dai suna yi ne amma ai wannan hakkin akan mu yake duk mutum yake shugabancin al'umma shi ya kamata ya damu da yin wasu ya damu da lafiyarsu ya damu da ilimansu ya damu da rayuwarsu saboda haka ni abin da kaka majalisa dinkin duniya akai abin da take bana ya cika ya cika ya cika ba aikin cika ne saboda haka mu da aka fice mu zo mu zama advocates mu yace abin da dama abin da muke yi kenan a cinci da dama abin da mu muka sa a gaba kenan saboda haka taimaka mana suke nan ba da yuwa ba Najeriya za ta ji da shekaru 50 da tarar samu cikin dan gaje da akwai nasarar da aka samu a matsayin na kasa kin ce babban nasara dai shine har yanzu muna akan kasa daya duk da yunkuri da aka ce na na araba kasa hakika Najeriya ya kamata a ce matsayin cikin ya wuce inda take ya kamata a ce Africa yace ake kyakkyawo misali da ita akan kasashe abinci kai ci shine yanzu kasa kamar Rwanda ko Ethiopia ko Kenya ko Cote d'Ivoire ko Ghana idan muka je wurare sai mu ji ana ana ta misali da su akan cewa su ya kamata a koyi da su kuma babu abin da ba mu da shi a Nigeria na al'umma da ilimi da wato fahimtar yadda duniya take da kuma albarkacin asaba abin da Allah bai mana ba saboda haka ina ganin ci gaba an samu amma idan muka mai da hakan yi akan yin abubuwan da ya dace a ci gaban da yake gaba ya fa abin da ka samu ba to akwai wani akasi kuma da aka samu in ce ba a rasa ba a rasa ba kamar yadda mai ko talauci talauci ai akasi a ce ka samu albarka din Najeriya ana san wani talauci amma alhamdulillah kamar yadda aka ji shugaban kasa yana fada suna da burin su fitar da mutum miliyan 200 cikin talauci a cikin shekara goma to idan an mai da hankali akan wannan kuma za a yi a cikin da China ta yi ta fitar da mutum kusan miliyan 270 daga talauci a cikin shekara 40 saboda haka babu abin da zai hana idan an tsaya an dage da ce mafan Allah ai to wannan shine talauci shi babban aka si mai kamata a cikin kasa irin ta Nigeria an samu irin wannan talauci to da kai da rahotanni sun nuna cewa rufe ya ko sun yi Najeriya da aka yi kafo bayan wannan al'amari menene da dilaka akan koyon bayan da kai da rufe wannan ya ko ci abin da za a duba shine na farko muna da tsari na kasoci tsakanin kasashe kuma akwai tsari na amana a tsakanin kasashe idan misali din Najeriya ta fahimci cewa manoman shinkafa namu na kasa idan an shigo da shinkafa daga China ko daga India wato China kariya darajar shinkafa yadda su shinkafar su ba ta san ta kaso a samun rayuwa ta kawo tsari ko kaya da tsarin ko ba ka yi tsari ba amma kuma ta kawo tsari a fahimtar ta cewa har yar kare manoman shine a saka haraji mai yawa akan shinkafar da za ta shigo daga China da Amerika ta dora haraji akan abubuwa su shigo daga Canada ko daga China a cikin wannan tsari da suke da wannan ko da kasar da wannan yanci to muka saka wannan haraji mai mukan a zo a shigo da shinkafa ta Lagos a biya haraji na sai a ce ku cin ba za a biya haraji na ba sai a shigo da shinkafar ka ga na farko abin da ake gudu na shigo da shinkafa waje nan a an kariya mai shi na biyu kudin harajin ma da ake samu na shigo da kaya ba mu samu ba kaga illa ne ta arzikin kasar idan ka duba 
alkalum ba ne shi kai shi kafa kasa shi ka kai kasa kamar ce bai kamar bai ne a juniya ta ko wace kasa ya shigo shi kai shi kafa mutun da ne a bai duk shi kafa ka shi kai ita suna samu ne kuɗin na jira ta ke zuwa sannan kwayoyi shekarar fi da suka wuce na duba alkalum a juniya bayan amerika bai ne ko wace kasa duniya shigar da kwayoyi ta mutum tramadol din nan shine ake sha a kasashen yaran arewa suke sha suke haukaciwa daga nan ake shiga da su lokacin shugaban kasa yazo taron wace ziyara ta kasa da yazo Kano ai mun yi taron a correction kuma in an tana a lokacin ni na kiwa in na ce shugaban kasa ya rufe office ne a lokacin shine yake ai ana so a duba a ku zaman lafiya da sauki su saboda idan ba a rufe ba sinji wani abu a cikin su ba za su fara ba ni abin da kauka rufe wannan da aka yi a rufe ne a samu a zauna a tattauna to yaya za ku tabbatar cewa an ji wani kwayoyin nan fetcher din nan da yake ba da tallafi a Nigeria sai a shigo da fetcher Nigeria a karba tallafi sai a dauki fetcher din sai a fitar da shi a kai shi Benin ko a kai shi Kano ko a kai shi Niger ba wai laifi bane amma mai kamata a ce gwamnatin Nigeria ta biya tallafin sauran kasashe ba in dai ba gwamnatin ce suka zauna da su da su suka shirya ta za ba ku tallafin fece ba in suka kuma mun kace zamu yi akan wani tsari na diplomasiya babu laifi dan mun kace dan gwamnati a Niger za mu ba su tallafin mai wannan babu laifi amma idan ba mu kai ba kuma idan ba haka aka tsara ba kamata abin da aka shigo shi saboda ɗan Niger zama a cikin Niger ya zauna ta fa ni na gani wannan abin da aka yi zai taimaka amma babban abin da ya kamata a yi wanda shine maganin abu shine idan mu muna ganin cewa harajin nan zai taimaka wa mu ba to a nemi dukkanin kasashen Africa sai wannan haraji yadda duk man noman Africa za su ba a karbi wannan ji da kade ba wato shi yasa ni nake goyen bayan wannan free trade agreement da aka yi kuma ina ina goyen bayan harkar ECOWAS wato bai kamata a ce kasa daya ta yi wani tsari wanda zai tafi da tsarin sauran kasashen ba amma kuma muna da karfi a cikin ECOWAS mu da zamu isa mu ce to mun je wannan haraji ne aka saka a kan shinkafa bai yi mana ba idan ana so mu zauna cikin wannan tsarin ko wace kasa ta kara haraji ne kuma man noman Africa a Africa ake shinkafa idan muna so mu hana shigo da tramado mu ce to mu ga baki ɗayan Africa a da shigo da tramado kuma yanzu ko wace kasa tun daga port and village kaga an ba shigo da tata ko tun ba ba zai shigo da jira ba an ba shigo da shi ta a kawai shigo da jira to ina gani wannan shine abin da ya kamata a yi wannan tsari ne muke gani wucin gadi wanda za a kawo gyara amma babban gyara shine a cikin tsarin wato yarjejeniya da aka yi ta cikin kayya ta Africa ta yamma ta Africa gaba daya a kawo tsari wanda zai kare dukkanin kasashen Africa wanda kuma aka yadda da shi muna so mu kare wannan ba muna so mu kare masana a tuye kuma a can kofi da ke shigar da su kasashen ai duk masako musu mutu to masaka ko a Nigeria take ko a Ghana take ko a Benin take ta cutu idan dai za shigo da aikin saka da arha daga China kana gani America tana kare ta saboda su ma kan su san su rasa masana to kasa kamar America tana kare kantar da da wayannan haraji to ya kamata kasa shafi kan zauna mu fahimta cewa ya kamata tsarin da aka ba mu na shekarun baya inda aka ce kawai mu sauke haraji a shigo mana da komai to tarwe wato Nigeria kamata ta yi jagoranci ta kirawo Ghana ta kirawo Benin ta kirawo Cote d'Ivoire ta kirawo Senegal a kira ta kuma ya ce to ga abin da ya kamata mu a Africa mu mami mu kare a masana atum mu kare mu 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 kare a mu wannan na gani shi ne mataki da ya kamata a kai gare shi to ko wasan sarkin Kano malam Muhammad Sanusi mutum ne wanda yake idan yadda abu yana fadan a gaskiya yadda magadan take kana gadin mutane ba sa fahimtar ka ne yake sa wasu kamar yadda batu da zai ce ana daukar maganar ta out of context ko dai a a akwai wasu dalile da ke sa mutane idan ka fadi gaskiya ko ka fito ka nuna ga abin da ya kamata a yi mutane suna da a magana ne kake so kai akwai dalile da yawa na farko shi dan adam ko wani dan adam eh inji wani filosofa a bacha dressa ya ce ko dan adam yana fassara abin da yake zuwa abin da zai fahimta saboda ka misali idan ne taro na masu gidan mutuntun arzikin kasa ne magana akan tattalin arzikin kasa wanda ya karanta wannan gidan da yake 
mengi karatin tarish shi ya san me nake ana to aka dauki maganar daga wannan taron aka sace a radio ko aka sace a jarida na farko wani shi dan jaridar ma da yake zuwa yana ba da rahoton shi da kira jiki a jikin kasa yanzu kaga an kaje ingila an kaje a challenge ta ake kasa kamar nan akwai financial correspondence in an je world bank ko imf ko jazi za tura mutumin da ya ki ilimitin a jikin kasa mu ko ko da jarida za tura na jarida na bai taba shiga ya ilimitin a jikin kasa ba in ya ji lecture hour biyu da akwai abin da ya fita a lecture na wakila bai ma san bai fahimci mutun a jikin kasa ba amma ya ji wata magana wacce kin za ta sai da jarida saka sai dauki wannan maganar sai ya saka ta ita ce headline ko ya sai da jarida sa shi abin da yake kai abin da kake so ka ba da gudunmowa wajen fitar a cikin kasa shi kuma dan jarida abin da yake so ya sai da jarida sa ba ruwan sa da an gyar ta a cikin kasa an fice ba fice ta ba to ka gwaina kusura guda ne akwai kusura ne biyu na mutane waɗanda dama suna da wannan nufin da wannan niyyar na ta da fitina saboda haka duk sanda aka yi magana neman wani abu za su yi wanda da ba kuma duk wanda yake masayi da shugabanci dole shi da wannan kana da musoya kana da maki kana da bahasala kana da mutane da jira suke yi komai ka fada a neman dan abu wanda za a dauka ko a dakar da kuma ko a dakar da gwamnati ko a dakar da da malamai ai mas ai au mas gona fassara so kullum kuma muna shan muna shan wannan amma muhimmin abu shine ta gaskiya sunanta da kuma idan an ci gaba da fatanta an ci gaba da fatanta wata rana kowa zai gani kuma wata rana kowa zai sani akwai wata yar za a ci an fada fada mutane su san abin da fada mutane ke gwanci mutane sun san abin da ake fada kuma sun san gaskiya ne amma sura ka ba a fuskanta ba a lakar da wannan sirawo da suke ne masu gaskiya wato tafkice ne wannan ba zai hana sarki fadan magana a gilda take a yadda ka ba sai abin da ya fada kowane mutum ya ke kuma kowane musu in dai an tambaye ka ya kamata ka fada abin da ake gani shine gaskiya kuma haka mu dai haka muka tashi haka muke kuma muna fatan sha za mu ci gaba da yin haka to wannan tambaya ce ta turanci like some people consider you as a social uh, informer oh, sorry uh, reformer uh, even an article in washington post last year uh, referred to you as a very important uh, traditional ruler in africa So uh what we want to in other words you seen as a crusader of women and girls uh, advocate. So uh what would you say is the impact of your campaign uh about empowering women and girls? Well you know I I don't I don't like using slogans okay like empowerment and all that. I mean, the, the reality is that women are human beings mm. and they're entitled to fundamental rights mm-hmm. they're entitled to rights to education they're entitled to rights to health they're entitled to protection against violence they're entitled to justice in marriage and outside marriage mm-hmm. and if uh, you find yourself in a society uh, or in one of the societies in the world mm-hmm. uh, and across the world there are a lot of injustices against women uh, to varying degrees uh, if you follow Uh, what happens in northern Nigeria you find men uh, marrying women taking them out of school then after years divorcing them arbitrarily uh, not maintaining them not providing for them not providing for the children uh, and it is the responsibility of India to address such injustices so so for me it's not so much about empowerment as about justice as about giving Uh, women as I mean, there are mothers there are sisters there are wives there are daughters uh, and we all have to uh, work hard to make sure that we protect them and and there are many intersections of inequality uh, they they suffer as women they suffer as poor people they suffer as rural people um, and so uh, you cannot create a stable society without addressing these injustices people know uh, you are very active on the social media even as the traditional ruler so how can that to be used uh, positively especially towards the you oh, by the way i've been out of social media for a while well, um, I, I, I know, but i know you've been there before uh, uh, yeah because 
I had so many fake accounts of putting my name, Instagram, and Facebook, and just difficult to track hundreds of accounts. So I basically, uh, I'm not, I, I don't have a Twitter handle, I don't have a Facebook handle, I don't have a, uh, an Instagram uh, a page. However, uh, as a, a UN SDG advocate, I'm, I'm thinking of opening um, social media handles uh, specifically mm -hmm. for SDGs. Uh, to focus on development issues in Africa and around the world, uh, to push uh, this agenda, to do advocacy for the girl child, for the boy child, uh, to make contributions to economic policy and economic thought, um, and to share some of the ideas that I think are relevant for development. Uh, when I open those uh, pages and handles, it will be known that these are the official uh, social media platforms uh, for me as a UN SDG um, advocate. Anything else? Okay. 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 Okay.